hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i wanted to film just a quick chatty get ready with me video and just update you guys on what's been going on with this pregnancy and how i've been feeling um i am now in my second trimester and i am 20 weeks and four days today i'm about to head into 21 weeks and this pregnancy like i told you guys in my last video it has not been easy and i wanted to like update you guys on how i've been feeling and what's been going on so let's just go ahead and jump into this chatty get ready video. i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my favorite milani prime and protect primer um it's a really inexpensive primer but i love it so i'm gonna just apply that everywhere i've already washed and moisturized my face and like i say in every video sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise in the background they are still doing construction in my neighborhood they're, they're building a lot of houses so it's non-stop construction over here i have to get really close to my mirror when i do my eyebrows so i'll get back to you guys in a little bit so i did my eyebrows off camera i used my anastasia beverly hill dip brow in dark brown and then i conceal under the brows with my medium to ginger nars concealer um, this is just what I do every day, honestly. I have had these for almost a year and they're still like super full. <laughs> so they're expensive, but they're worth it and they last a while. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. So I know you guys saw me haul this recently um, on my Sephora VIB Rouge um, video. I got this Estee Lauder Futuristic Hydra Rescue Foundation. And so far, you guys, I love it. I have been using it all weekend and I like it so far. It has SPF 45 and it's the coverage is like a medium coverage, but it's so thin, you guys, and watery. Look, it's super watery and it just does not feel super thick and cakey on your skin. So I really like that about this foundation. But the coverage, I would say it's like a medium buildable coverage. Oh, I forgot to color correct my my under eyes. But anyways, how did you guys spend your Mother's Day? My Mother's Day was actually, it was different this year, but it was a blessed Mother's Day. My dad was in town this weekend. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys probably seen. My dad does not live in Arizona, so he was in town this weekend. And we kind of broke our quarantine <laughs> to see him. We hadn't left our house or seen anyone in a long time for about two months or a little bit over two months and so we saw family this weekend and my doctor said it was okay um she said it was fine just as long as we weren't you know in a huge crowd and yeah it was great i was so happy to see my father next i want to see my mom i miss her so much my dad works in the oil field he's a truck driver so therefore he doesn't work with a bunch of people he just works like kind of on his own and so i felt comfortable um and he felt comfortable seeing me and my sister who are both pregnant at the time and i loved having his grandpa aka papa that's what he calls him <laughs> he loved having my dad here and he cried so much when my dad left so i'm gonna go ahead and color correct with the maybelline master camo color corrector i love this color corrector it's inexpensive um so yeah kind of i'm kind of like on the hunt for another one but i'm just using this up and it i think it color corrects pretty good but i kind of want something more powerful <laughs> so yeah so this weekend was mother's day weekend my husband got me a whole bunch of gifts He's so sweet and um, I'm going to use some of these gifts in this video that he got me because my husband just knows me so well. He knows my love language. He knows how much I love makeup. Um, fun fact, when I got married to my husband, I didn't really have a lot of high-end makeup. I had like maybe one palette that was high-end and then once we got married, he kind of just helped me build my collection a lot of my makeup was like cheap makeup <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and use this concealer it's the fenty 310 concealer i love this concealer and i'm kind of running out of it I'm, i think this one's too light now 
this is what i would use in the winter so i'm gonna have to mix it with my favorite <laughs> concealer of all time which is the Too Faced born this way cookie concealer i use this concealer every single day and i feel like i use it in every single video but it's just my favorite concealer i have a lot of concealers and this one is my favorite I used to be really obsessed with the shape tape until I found this one. I still think the shape tape has a little more coverage than this one, but I love the shade of the cookie because it's golden and I love it because it's not so thick like the shape tape, although I still like the shape tape. This one's a little more thinner, but it gives you such good coverage. This weekend was very scary because I started to feel what I believe was Braxton Hicks contractions. This is my second pregnancy, so I'm kind of familiar with um, contractions and, you know, the feeling of contractions. And basically, on Friday night, my dad got here on Friday. We had a blast with him all day on Friday. Um, and then on Friday evening, when I came back home, I just started to feel the sharpest contractions and just i was just feeling very un uncomfortable and i live in arizona so it's super hot right now so i don't know if like i was dehydrated but i was drinking water throughout the day i always have a yeti with me and i fill it up with ice and water so it could have been like multiple things but i started to feel contractions on friday evening and then they happened again on saturday evening so when I started to fill them on Friday, I decided to up my water intake on Saturday. And then still Saturday evening, I started to fill them again. And I, at that point, I was kind of freaking out. Um, honestly, I was. I was like, I don't want to go to the doctors right now because, or to the hospital because of everything that's going on with this pandemic. And it's just not a good time to go to the hospital right now unless you absolutely have to. So I kind of wanted to play it by ear. Luckily, the contractions on Mother's Day ended up going away. I didn't have any contractions on Mother's Day on Sunday. And then on Monday, I didn't have no more contractions either. And then come Tuesday, I had a doctor's appointment. I let my doctor know that, you know, about the contractions. And she basically said that it could have been from multiple things, but possibly it could have been from dehydration because it's just very common right now. Um, and pregnant women's here in Arizona to get dehydrated faster because it is like 106 outside so she just said even if you're drinking a lot of water drink more and so that's what I'm doing I'm just trying to chug in as much water and I love lemon water so I always like squeeze a lemon inside of my Yeti so that's just what I've been doing upping my water intake um, okay I think we're all blended out I'm going to use my, what is this called, the Airspun powder, the extra coverage. I just really like this powder, and it's very inexpensive. So, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with this powder. Like this. So, yeah, I went to my doctor's on Tuesday. Everything looks good. There was, I didn't go to the hospital when I was feeling the Braxton Hicks contractions because... I was still feeling movement from the baby and I just didn't feel it was necessary. I knew if it happened for longer than an hour or if the contractions continued after two days that I would definitely go into the hospital and get checked out. But luckily they went away and um, since I am at high risk for a premature labor because my first born was a pre preemie baby. Um, then they want to keep a close eye on me like i told you guys in my gender reveal video um they want to keep a close eye on baby girl so this week i have two appointments i have the appointment i had on tuesday with my OBGYN, and then on friday i have a, another checkup on baby with a high-risk pregnancy doctor and so i i feel good i feel good about this pregnancy it has been really hard on my body but i feel like everything's gonna turn out good and i'm really not really not that scared so i'm going to use the baja girl fenty beauty bronzer to contour i love this contour it's like i'm almost hitting pan on it 
and I'm just gonna use a MAC 160S um, brush to contour. Oh wait, I haven't even, wow, I'm like all over the place because I'm talking. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this translucent powder from Airspun. So yeah, that was my weekend. It was a good one, but also a scary one because of my contractions and this pregnancy, you guys. I don't think I'm gonna have any more babies after this. <laughs> I think it's just, um, I'm like kind of over pregnancy at this point and I'm only 20 weeks. <laughs> I'm not over this pregnancy because I feel like it's going fast but i'm over like the worry and the stress of like oh uh, i just want to keep my daughter in as long as possible with everything going on and for some reason it it seems to me like my body always wants to have my babies early i don't know why um braxton hicks contractions are a sign of like premature labor and that's what we want to avoid, you know, premature labor because it's honestly not safe for your baby. Um, but how was your guys' Mother's Day? I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day. I had a really good Mother's Day. Even though my pregnancy was very hard to deal with this weekend I had a really good Mother's Day I got to spend it with my dad I wish I got to see my mom to be honest but I do plan on visiting her very soon my doctor says it's okay as long as we're not like in a big crowd I feel so when I placed my Sephora order for the 20% VIB Rouge style they didn't send two things and they just sent them um, and I'm super excited about this. It's the Hourglass um, bronzer. I've never tried anything from Hourglass, so I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, I got it in the shade Radiant. So this is the bronzer. Excuse my nails. I'm so excited to try this because I've been wanting this bronzer for a long time. It's just super expensive, so I never pick it up. <laughs> so let's see if it's worth the hype. I'm just going to go in with this brush right here from Sigma. Oh, it's super glowy and bronzy. Oh, I like this a lot, you guys. Wow. It's like a glowy bronzer. It has a lot of glow. Oh, I like this. And I like the shade, too. I got, like, the dark... I think Radiant's the darkest shade. Um... Or it's like the second darkest shade. It's for medium to deep skin tones. So I like like a darker bronzer. Since I am a little tan. Um, but I really like this. This is a really pretty bronzer you guys. It's super glowy. Wow. I like it so far. So yeah. I used that to bronze my face. And then my husband... He got me this Glam Glow mask kit and it came with these highlights and I'm so excited. Look how pretty the packaging is. It says Glow and here are the highlights. So it has a super light one, a medium, and like a golden one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix. No, I'm going to use the middle one. I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia highlighting. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is really, ooh, this is really pretty. Just like a little bit because I don't want to be too glowy. Wow. I like this a lot. And it smells good. This is really pretty. Do you guys see that? Okay. So I honestly just wanted to film this video to chat with you guys because I feel like I haven't filmed it forever and it's only been like a week. But I love filming you guys. I really love YouTube and I love interacting with you guys. And I kind of wanted to update you guys on my pregnancy, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows because I have a lot of powder on them. With the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I use a dark brown shade on the edge. So 
that's what's been going on with this pregnancy i've just been dealing with a lot of backache i think i have rhythmic back pain i think that's what it's called um rhythmic back pain during pregnancy because wow my back hurts so bad i feel like an old lady i never had so much back pain in my life hopefully this goes away once i give birth because i cannot imagine dealing with this any longer so i'm gonna go ahead and since i'm just doing something very natural i'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara now i got this lancome primer it's a lash primer before you do your mascara i love this i use this so much when i wasn't using falsies and i had just given birth to my son i had like the smallest little lashes and I feel like this primer really helps your lashes grow. I've been using this primer for a long time. And um, I just now went back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Let's see. Here in Arizona, they've already lift a lot of the restrictions that we had. Like now they're opening gyms. Restaurants are opening back up. And I'm curious to know in your state, have they opened things up? And if they have, are you guys going out? I'm definitely not going out yet because I don't feel comfortable since I'm pregnant. And um, I just don't think it's safe yet, to be honest. But I'm curious to know what you guys feel. I seen something on Yahoo that said 143 moms tested positive for the coronavirus. And out of all of those women who were pregnant and tested positive, none of their newborn babies tested positive for the virus. Isn't that weird? That's so like, I mean, it's kind of, it kind of is like a relief to know that since I'm pregnant, <laughs> um, that there's a high chance if I was to get the virus, my baby would not get it. But yeah. Where did really cool to know that, to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lip combo. I'm gonna use my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. Nothing new here, you guys. I always use this lip liner. If you guys know a, a like really good dupe for this lip liner that's cheap, let me know. I had Lip Balm on and it's Kind of made it like a really nice liquidy consistency so next i'm gonna go ahead and prime the bottom lashes because if you haven't tried this lash primer i think you definitely should i tried the l'oreal one because everyone said it was a dupe but it's honestly not this is like the best lash primer ever and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Maybelline. Oh no, wait. My husband got me the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara for Mother's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I like this mascara. Um, I do feel like it kind of dries out fast. But I like that it gives your lashes a lot of volume. So. We're going to go ahead and go in with that. So that's. So you see how nice my lashes look um, with that primer. I just feel like you can use any cheap mascara with that primer and it just makes your lashes look so bomb. So I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys and let you guys know how I've been feeling, what's been going on, um, and just share some of this new makeup and let you guys know how I'm liking it. So far, I love this Estee Lauder foundation. If I run out, I'm definitely repurchasing it. It's so good and I noticed that it doesn't make me oily or... My face doesn't get oily faster with it and so far it's good i've taken pictures using this foundation and it doesn't look it looks really good on pictures and i love the shade honey bronze because if you're anywhere near my skin tone this is like such a good shade and it it's just like such a golden beautiful shade and then this hourglass bronzer it's my first time using it and so far i'm super impressed i don't know if you guys can see how glowy and beautiful it looks it just looks really youthful it's definitely something that you know it's a splurge but i feel like it's definitely worth it i'm like obsessed with my mac give me sun bronzer but i wanted to try something different so i'm glad i picked this up and then this highlighter palette that my husband got me i'm obsessed with it it smells so good and honestly anything glam glow is really good 
This came in like a kit. It came with this highlight palette and then it came with two masks. And you know, the Glam Glow masks are really expensive, but they really work really good. He, I think the masks they came with were like the firming ones. So I'm super excited. And I really like the packaging. It's so pretty. It's like a hot pink and it says glow. And it's just really nice. So yeah, and it has like a really big mirror. I just need to take off the sticker. But it has a really big mirror and I really like that. So I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys and let you guys know what's been going on. Um, but everything's good now, you guys. No worries here. I'm super happy and excited for my baby girl. Um, and I'm just taking this pregnancy day by day and not really stressing too much. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'm also curious. What do you guys order from Starbucks? I usually get a caramel uh, Macchiato with almond milk and it's so good or I'll get like a chai latte with soy milk um, But let me know what you guys order at Starbucks. I'm curious to try something new try different drinks um, But yeah with that being said, I love you guys. I hope you guys like this video um give this video a big thumbs up if you did follow me on instagram at lec murray and i'll see you guys in my next video bye